Hey guys, it's Heather from Caliba Plan, and in today's video, we are planning for the week of September 21st through the 27th in my classic happy planner. And this week, SEC football is supposed to kick off if all goes as planned. You never know with coronavirus, but SEC football is supposed to kick off this weekend, and I am so excited about it. I'm a huge Alabama fan, and I can't wait to watch Alabama play. Now, with that being said, I do hope and pray that this season can be played safely, and if it is not safe, I hope that they cancel it. Um, I do want the players to be safe, but if they're going to play, then I want to be excited about it. And so to be excited and to show my team spirit, I made my own Alabama stickers. It's really hard to find team stickers because of licensing issues. These are super cute. I'm not going to be able to sell them because I did use some of their logos, which you can't sell someone else's logo, but I made them for myself and I think they're really cute. And so I'm going to use them in this planner spread. I hope that if nothing else, seeing these stickers inspires you to make your own stickers. It's super fun. I used my um, Adobe Illustrator to design them and then I printed them on my home printer and I cut them on my Cricut. And this sticker paper um, is like a matte paper, sticker paper. So I'm going to start by putting a houndstooth box over here on Monday. For those of you who don't know, Alabama fans love houndstooth. Um, one of our best coaches, the Bear, Bear Bryant, wore a houndstooth hat. And he won several national championships at Alabama. And so to remember him, we wear houndstooth. So it's kind of like our pattern. So you will see it on a lot of Alabama stuff. It's one of my favorite patterns. Um, so you're going to see it throughout this spread. I also made this cute little sticker. Um, if you saw my planner video from yesterday, let me show you what it was on. I made this Alabama tracker and I made these little game day stickers for the whole season. And so this one is the same sticker as this one. I just printed it again so that I could put it on my planner spread. I don't know that I will, I actually, I do know. I can go ahead and tell you, I'm not gonna put one of these on every single week because I really like my planner spreads to coordinate. And so this, if I put this in my planner every single Saturday, it wouldn't coordinate and that would drive me crazy. But it's cute for this week because it does coordinate. So I decided to go ahead and use it. I also printed these little football stickers because it's football and I love football. So I am thinking this football sticker could go here. And then this one that has a box in it could go here. And then I can still write on that. Okay, I made this little sticker right here. It says, every Bama man's behind you hit your stride. That's part of our fight song. And I'm gonna put it right here to cover up where it says note. Okay. Then I have this box sticker that is houndstooth with a box that I can write in. I'm thinking, like if I put it here, I feel like that's too many boxes in a row. But if I put it here, that's a lot of boxes that are the same. I think I'm gonna put it over here which does make that middle row kind of boxy, but I could take this one and put it here. And then this one matches the football ones. I don't know exactly where I want to put that one yet. I am gonna take these checklist stickers though and place these in a few spots. Put one over here. These stickers would have been really cute on a blackout spread too. Just saying. We could put this one right here. 
Okay, so now that I kind of see where those all go, I feel like if I put it here, it's really boxy. If I put it here, it feels like that makes it really boxy. Oh, I could put it here and just layer it on top of the houndstooth so that I can still write. That's cute, and then it kind of blends those two patterns. Okay, I have one more checklist sticker that I could put maybe here. Okay. Then I have this really cute Alabama A. I'm going to put it over here. I was going to put it here, but since we have the Alabama A right here, I felt like that was too much. This is our mascot, Big Al. He's an elephant. Look how cute he is. Um, I'm going to put him over here. Kind of let him layer on that box some. And then this sticker says Roll Tide. That is our motto as an Alabama fan. So I'm going to put it right here. And then I have these little footballs. The great thing about making your own stickers is you can be sure to only make stickers that you know you're going to use. Like look, I used all of these sticker sheets because I used stickers that I knew I would use which makes it super convenient. So I'm gonna put a cute, cute little football here to layer on top of that. And then I could take this little football and layer it over here. Okay, I do still have like this washi strip and then these, I actually cut these so I could use these as washi strips as well. Um, so we could put one here and then trim it. And then we can take the other one. And put it here. Cute. And then I don't know if I'm going to put the hound's tooth anywhere. I mean, I could put it over here, but that seems kind of boxy. So I think I'm not going to use that. This turned out really cute though. So it's going to look really cute on my discs as well. I can't believe this is also the last week of September. Like that's crazy. Okay. So put these on my black metal discs. I mean, that was like a super quick and easy spread. I love how it looks. I don't normally do Bama spreads in my planner, but I thought it would be fun for kickoff week. Hopefully we actually get to play. You never know. Things could, I know lots of teams had to cancel their first games uh, because of the priorities to keep students safe. So I totally agree with that. But if we're able to play Saturday, my planner is ready to go. So if you like this video, I hope you hit the like button. If you want to see more of my videos, hit that subscribe button. Roll Tide and happy planning.